r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What ruined Christmas this year? My disabled brother got a sloth shirt saying sorry I'm slow. My brother got hit by a car the 14th of December and still lies in artificial coma in the hospital. Speak to him or read him stories. Let him know he is in a coma. Some people in comas can still hear you. He may be confused what is happening and hearing your words of comfort could mean the world. I'm sorry this is happening to you all. My sister getting extremely drunk and telling us she wants to do heroin in a controlled environment to try and help our uncle. Who abandoned his child for drugs. Come back into reality. She isn't going to become a junkie she just wants to know what it's like so she can try to help him. It's been an emotional couple hours trying to get the fact that this wouldn't work through her thick skull. I had a gf whose younger 15 year sister tried this. She then spent a year ruining her and everyone else's life. She's dead now. Didn't make it to 17. Mother died a few days ago and the apartment above me went on fire at 1am Christmas morning and we were evacuated. Lots of water damage. Last Christmas Eve my mom, 71, died. New Year's Eve my dad, 78, had a heart attack and died. At mom's funeral reception the entire family got food poisoning from the food the church provided. Seems a bit comical now. Not the least bit funny then. My dad refusing to come to Christmas because his girlfriend is manipulative. The power went off and never came back on. We had Christmas dinner at McDonald's. All the food was ruined. Looking back. My fondest Christmas was the year my family was homeless and had dinner at a Chinese buffet. I like ham and all. But Chinese is my new favorite holiday food. My fiance cancelled the wedding. Same thing happened to me a decade ago. Here I am now. Six years into an actual marriage with someone who loves me very much. Your present success now. But at least you're not divorced after a year. Yeah no? Everyone caught the flu. No one was spared. One by one my family members are falling ill and all of their post Christmas plans are crumbling like so many gingerbread cookers. Flu is really hitting hard this year. I work in a hospital lab and we're seeing tons of positive flu tests. It usually doesn't get the crazy until early February. Finding out one of my cousins is in really poor health. I hadn't seen him in a few months. But since then. He's gotten a hernia in his groin that's grown to the size of a soccer ball. And though he's only 27 or 28. He's gotten so sick. He looks and sounds like he's 45. This is in the span of a few months. He refuses to get medical attention for it. And I think he's killing himself by not doing so. If he ignores it he could get himself killed over it. Hernia are not usually life threatening if treated but left alone they can cause serious issues. If there is anyone in your family he is more prone to listen to have them get real with him and see if he'll go to a doctor about it. My niece and nephew's uncle on the other side of the family. His car was found randomly abandoned on the side of the road this morning. Phone inside. Vomit in the car. Back tire shredded. Whole family had to go out looking for him. He also didn't bother to get his own children any presents because they were stolen out of his car. I went through many Christmases when I was kid that were similar to this. Alcoholic father would make up a new lie every year why we didn't have any presents. His go-to was there in my work truck. I forgot them. He would just keep using this lie far after Christmas was done and just hoped we would eventually forget. We would stop asking but we never forgot. We usually found him passed out in his car in the morning still half drunk. He was also the type of person that would just get violently angry during every holiday. I think he's the reason why I hated Christmas for most of my life. Luckily I have a wonderful girlfriend with an amazing family that welcomes me in every year I'm actually starting to enjoy the holidays now. Typhoon ripped through my family's town in another country. 8 hours time difference. Spent the whole of Christmas day refreshing for updates. 36 hours. Still no news. I'm going crazy waiting. Edit because a few people are asking. Yes it's the Philippines. My home village was really badly hit by Typhoon Hainan in 2013. And while this one wasn't as strong it has still caused widespread damage to areas that simply can't afford to rebuild again. I also got a very quick message from one of my cousins. 
Everyone is alive thank goodness but the damage is bad. I'll have to wait until the power is back for full details. But I can rest easier now. Thank you everyone for your comments and private messages. And I hope everyone who has family out there know that they are safe. The replies and messages today have shown me the very best side of reddit. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I really hope you will have some good news soon. My cousin's got a mini bounce house and it popped with like 10 kids inside all under 8. The amount of crying broke my eardrums. That may have ruined your Christmas. But hey. I got a laugh out of it. A few months ago I decided to cut off my toxic drug addicted mother. Of course. Being the holidays. My grandmother and a few cousins decided I needed to get into the Christmas spirit and forgive my mother because it's Christmas. And my sisters miss me. I don't know what my sisters have to do with me cutting off my mom. My sisters are adults. We live 1500 miles away from each other. Of course they miss me. I'm not forgiving someone who isn't sorry. I'm not allowing toxic people back into my life just because it's the holidays. I'm not forgiving someone who isn't sorry. I needed to read that this morning. Stay strong. Keep the toxic people away. And never feel guilty about it. Mom died at the beginning of the year so this was the first Christmas without her. Doubly sucks because my nephew spends every Christmas at the house and he didn't want to do it this year. Edit just realized I forgot to add that my mom's old man, he was still living with me, died of a stroke a few days ago but his sister took care of everything. This Christmas time would a hell of a lot worse if I had to deal with the cremation and all that jazz. These two things plus a few other moments made me realize that 2019 ducking sucked and I'm hoping 2020 is better. My ex-wife not having the guts to tell me she was doing Christmas dinner with her sugar daddy's family. I don't give a shit if she was here but she just ghosted my daughters and me. I even asked her yesterday if she was going to be with us for dinner and she said. Of course I will. Why wouldn't I it brought back horrible memories about why I left her ass in the first place. To be fair. I had a great evening with my daughters but there was annoying anger in the back of my mind that I couldn't let go of. Edit. Since folks are offering advice I want to clarify that the ex and I normally get along very well. We have been separated and divorced for years. In the years since the divorce she has been dependable given that I don't ask much of her. She sometimes does little things that reaffirm my decision to not be in a marriage with her but they don't affect me since I don't have to live with that behavior anymore. The reason last night pissed me off more than usual is because disappearing on the family was something she did during the last few years of our marriage and it caused me massive amounts of stress back then. There are few things she can do to trigger bad memories and that is at the top of the list. My therapist told me one thing that has helped me immensely with my ex. I had a lot of anger because I expect her to act a certain way and got angry when she didn't. So you expect her to act like a reasonable thoughtful human being, a totally reasonable thing to expect. But you divorce them most likely because they air and so you shouldn't be upset or surprised when this happens and it's actually you being upset by your expectations more than their actions. Got the flu. Shit my way to Christmas morning. Same shits. Different day. I work at an airport and we have to have a badge that lets us in the gates. Tarmac. Etc. Lost it. Lost my driver's license. And my United Airlines ID badge. Edit. Grammar. Found out my 19 years old sister got married to her boyfriend 5 months ago and still hasn't actually told us yet. Apparently she's waiting to tell us until she visits. None of us like her boyfriend. Now husband. And he doesn't treat her like she deserves. This visit will be interesting. My uncle grabbing my ass and my whole family laughing about it. Edit. I really and no way thought this would blow up the way it did. Thank you for all the supportive comments and messages. This has been really eating away at me and you all have helped a lot. Thank you. Had a step uncle who was a known molester so thankfully was never left alone with me but every Christmas Eve. I'd have to sit on his lap because he missed having a little girl to cuddle. He'd kiss my neck and ears and if I protested he'd bite hard. And tickle me at the same time so parents were clueless and laugh when I said ow. My mom she's basically the Grinch this time of year. 
She's a narcissist and only cares about her own feelings and my dad is a coward towards her. On that boat with you. This year she decided she was selling all my stuff. Like. Online. Selling my childhood memories. I did not go home. Nor did I call. Sometimes. Family I sent everything. Duck that shit. Being alone is hard though. Hope you weren't alone. Or if you were. It was by choice. Found out my family actually had a Christmas party. A few days ago I got a card and directions to a charity dinner. I figured that was their way of telling they weren't doing anything this year. Apparently it was actually their way of telling me I wasn't invited. Edit. I am 23F. My family disapproves of me because they don't get along with my mum. The family also does not approve that I took a few years off before going into post secondary and recently broke up with my partner. Well at least they gave you directions to something else. I found out I was being lied to about holidays dinners were no longer being celebrated by anyone. Only to find out that for the past 8 years my parent and most of my siblings were getting together all these years. Me. Was invited to a lovely dinner by my boss with his extended family. Everything went amazingly well. Even though I was nervous. I didn't drink anything due to medications. Yet still managed to vomit profusely all over his car when he was giving me a ride home. Edit. Ro. What a way to wake up. Some extra context. I was promoted to manager for his company within the last month. The business is very small. 5 employees, and he learned that I would be spending Christmas alone and didn't want that to happen. I think the cause was most likely motion sickness. I live in a large city and haven't needed to be in a car for a very long time. This being the first in about a year. I was trying to open the door or window. But they were possibly safety locked. As he has recently had a baby. Thank you for the silver. And happy holidays. That sounds so rough. But it will make an amazing story for both of you in like 3 years. Tops. Everyone forgot I'm allergic to nuts. Yeah. That happened to me. But I kind of pushed the nuts aside on the plate. How did it play out for you? Had a fight with my grandma and aunt where they kept telling me that I am being brainwashed at university and they are proud of themselves for only finishing high school. Otherwise they would be idiots like me. Fun times as usual. Spent it alone and in my feelings. No good food was had either. Can I order you some? Food? That is. My sister couldn't come home. She moved to another country and couldn't make it back for Christmas. I didn't think I would mind that much. I'm so lonely without her though. We had so many Christmas traditions and I didn't have anyone to laugh with me about everything during dinner. I'm thankful that she's still alive and physically here on earth. But it was just more lonely that I expected to not have her around. It wasn't a bad Christmas. It just didn't really feel like Christmas. Edit. Thanks for the silver. You all are too sweet. I'm a sister who moved half a world away from my family last year and it was hard for me. 2. I found out I was cheated on a few days ago. I'm so sorry. This hits home. I found out about my husband's affair while we were home for Christmas 15 years ago and those were some awful days. In one year you'll look back and say wow. I'm so glad I'm having this Christmas and not last years. Big hugs to you. Got into a big fight with my family. Completely ruined the whole day. Was everyone locked in a cage and you had to pry a suitcase hanging from the ceiling? My cousin stole my $250 and once she got caught said. But I needed an OP, me, is too spoiled anyways. She then proceeded to get half of it after crying a fit and refused to give it back until she got some and after all that I still don't know why her parents don't punish her since they're actually half decent. Edit. Thanks for the gold and silver. Every year from this point on buy her a cheap Christmas card and write in it remember that $250. I'm talking for the next 30 years. My 5 year old looked at all his Christmas presents 3 days before Christmas. And the dog peed on the tree. Which also got on many gifts. Sucks when your children wreck things for themselves. My 6 year old learned to read this year and found himself the present list. At least it wasn't detailed. But I relate. Hope the rest of Christmas was lovely for you. Mom has the flu. 
So the family voted to move the family get together to Saturday. When I work. No compromise could be made. None of my siblings or extended family invited me over for their small get togethers. So I spend the whole day alone. Didn't even get a Merry Christmas text back from any family members. Not your fam but Merry Christmas. 3. Ducking like and subscribe.